Greetings Creeps. Today we are joined by Elza Kephart. I almost did the PH just because you put that in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Director and co-writer of the new movie Slacks. <laughs> so thank you for coming to hang out with us today. Oh, you bet. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about Slacks. Sure. Um, Slacks is a movie first and foremost about killer pants. Uh, yes, you heard it right. Pants that kill. Um, but it's really about uh, the underlying evil that is the fast fashion industry. So it's uh, about a young woman who comes on uh, the first day on the job into a popular fast fashion store only to discover that there's mayhem afoot. And then she discovers uh, not just that killer pants are on the loose, but the real reason that the pants are killing and it's and the real reason for its thirst for revenge. And, um, and yeah. Nice. <laughs> so I, I really enjoyed this. It's basically, it's kind of like a slasher movie, but uh, the slasher yeah. are pants. <laughs> and then there's a, there's a, there's a reason yeah, yeah, behind exactly. it. There's a motivator for the slasher, which we don't always get in a slasher movie. So it's like slasher with a couple of twists in it, which was, which was really cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you oh, tell it's us good that you picked oh, up on yeah. the, the slasher. Oops, sorry, 100%. Go ahead. No, no, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, because I was going to say, it's really great. We really uh, decided, um, Patricia loves uh, loves slashers. And mm -hmm. so we really modeled it around uh, the slasher, um, the slasher conventions. And she's a big fan of all the slasher films. And so she'd be the one who'd say like, well, here, usually the killer <laughs> reveals this part of themselves or here the killer really is revealed. And here we find out why the killer kills. and and all that. So she was the one to really make sure that we stuck to, to the slasher conventions and mm -hmm. that we made it as like as gory as, as possible. <laughs> I'm the like nice, the nice cop of the doom. No, that's not true. Yeah. So you guys balance each other out. But she then. definitely like, yeah, she definitely, she definitely um, uh, wanted us to stick to the slasher convention. I think mm -hmm. it, it really helped because it helped people follow a, a narrative code, like a narrative grammar that they were familiar with in this crazy universe of killer pants. So we were able to like hang the story literally on, <laughs> on, on the slasher narrative. <laughs> Any opportunity to make bad puns. Oh, I'm here for it. If I could just have a show of just puns, I'm like, yeah, please, let's do that. <laughs> No, you could definitely tell that a slasher fan was involved in the inception of this because it very much had all of the conventions of a slasher, which it, it honestly does. Like if you're familiar with slashers and, and you're comfortable with that, it made it a lot easier to make the jump than to like, but it's pants, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I think that's why I really love genre because um, it enables us to go into these totally insane worlds mm -hmm. while still re retaining... Uh, a narrative structure that is known to people and sort of weirdly comforting. And so mm -hmm. I think having it be anchored in this in this frame um, actually opens the door for really wild, wild storytelling. That's why yeah. that's why I love genre. Yeah. <laughs> and it's kind, it's kind of odd, actually, like it feels like, OK, killer pants, like how is that going to work? But it doesn't ever feel like it's like jumping the shark. You know what I mean? It's like this is a world that I kind of know. I kind of know the rules a little bit, except for this time it's pants and oh. it, it, it makes sense in this yeah. world. It doesn't feel like, well, this is really like so far fetched. It's like, no, no, I kind of get the conventions and we're following along this path and it's it's pants that are hunting you down. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a fine history of killer of killer objects, and I tried to watch as many as I could. I haven't seen the bed that kills. I have to admit. Um, and I think the ones the the things that really worked, uh, the killer objects that worked, were the ones that that stayed within this narrative. Like there's this great German movie called Killer Condom, which killer is condom. hilarious. From the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, from the early '90s, and it, it's actually German but dubbed in English. Okay. And actors, I think, are speaking English, but they're dubbed by American actors. Um, <laughs> and it's like literally like this condom that, that well, bites guys. <laughs> and, uh, but there's a, a logic behind it. And so the, to me, that one made sense. And there's other films, like even though I love rubber, 
uh, the the one about the tire that killed. Uh -huh. There's no yeah. real narrative logic. So when I went to see it, I was like, oh, I guess it's about a tire that kills, but not really. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it's its own thing. So I love rubber <laughs> yeah. for what it is. Right. But um, but when I went about making slacks, people were like, oh, is it going to be like rubber? I'm like, no, it's really going to be about <laughs> pants that kill people. Right. Rubber is awesome and it's a lot of fun for what it is, but yeah. it, you're right. It's more of like, I mean, there wasn't really anything like that. I feel or not that I had seen when that came out. So I no. feel like it was more of like an experimental kind of like, and you just get sucked into it. Cause you're like, this is so fucking weird. Like what, what yeah. is this? And then that it, it's allowed to go on just based on that, you know? <laughs> yeah. 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 No, it, it's, it's an, ups, it's totally absurd and, uh, and, and wonderful in, in its own <laughs> right. But yeah, yeah, yeah but very different from the killer pants movie. It's not the same kind of vibe. <laughs> no, no, it's not rubber part two, but with pants, no. <laughs> oh, the killer condom movie could have been called rubber part two, I guess. Oh. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie, but you kind of sold me on it a little bit. I think it was all like it's German, but English, but dubbed. And I'm like, what? what is happening? I don't know. I'm kind of here for it. <laughs> it's sort of it's sort of terrible and i think also condom is spelled with a k so i think it's like killer condom. oh condom it's, it's okay. fine yeah, yeah okay yeah. <laughs> also that's like it's it's defeating its purpose like it's like this is something that's meant to keep you safe but now it's like offing yeah. people and killing you in the probably the worst possible way that a lot of people could imagine <laughs> <laughs> all right i'll have to i'm gonna hunt that one down <laughs> and i'll either i'll either thank you for it or be really upset with you afterwards <laughs> well, let me know <laughs> so can you talk a little bit about the inspiration behind slacks like what made you guys want to tell this story yeah um it was uh, all a, a real joke at first um patricia and i were uh, on a road trip with another friend and one of the you know like you'll have these stupid games on road trips to pass the time. So one of the, the games was, what word do you hate? And she, and our other friend hates the word slacks. And so okay. I kept repeating it over and over to her as if I was possessed. And then Patricia and I naturally were like, wait a minute, it sounds like it's a possessed pair of pants. Wah! And literally that's how it came about. Um, and then it mutated uh, or matured, I should say, over the, the years to really include this this message. But at first it was really just a joke, like a one note joke about pants that kill. And, uh, but luckily we were, we really hung on to it until we were able to, to make sense of it and really give it a heart. Otherwise it would never have been made because it would just have fallen flat, you know, beyond right. the floor pants. What the next, yeah. <laughs> Um, if you would have given me like a thousand guesses, I never would have guessed that that was like the origin story of Slack because it does have such a message. Like it's, it's an important message too. It's fun and it's disgusting and gory and great, but it also has a message. So I never would have thought like that, that would like, and now I'm picturing like in a possessed voice where he's like Slacks, like, <laughs> yeah. Cause I love like incarnating weird things and objects. And so it's just sort of. I mean, to me, that's the power of creativity and imagination is that mm -hmm. this one thing that was just started as a joke, if you hang on to it and you, and you feel like there's something in it, you're not quite sure what, like if you're really determined and you just trust in your, in your instincts, then <laughs> eventually I think the thing will come to fruition and will reveal mm -hmm. itself to you. So I, I, I'm much more confident actually as an artist because, <laughs> because something that started as a, as, as a concept that was really catchy, but totally ludicrous, mm -hmm. you know, revealed itself to be, to have its own, its own life and really slacks. Right. I, I feel like came to be because it had a message that it needed to tell and it chose us mm -hmm. to tell. <laughs> you were possessed by the, the ultimate end game of slacks but it just that's yes. how it presented itself <laughs> exactly i was just the vehicle for yes. <laughs> or you became i think maybe it was already searching for a vehicle like that concept was searching uh, for a vehicle you summoned yeah. it to you in that moment yes. and it was like this exactly. is it this is the one <laughs> the chosen one <laughs> to tell our story <laughs> exactly. and patricia actually worked in retail so she brought the retail angle to it mm -hmm. um so i think both of us were sort of equally possessed by slacks, but, and I brought the more social messaging uh, mm -hmm. 
and the heart of the the slacks character so we both okay. have a, a strength <laughs> got it. the heart of the it. slacks character as in the heart of the possessed pants was <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, I always loved Slacks. It was my favorite character. But then when I saw, <laughs> when I was doing research and I saw photos of uh, young Indian girls uh, mm -hmm. picking cotton and really looking, some in some videos, they really looked at the camera and I felt their stares literally like accusing me. Um, uh, I knew that 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 character had to be Slacks. Like before Slacks yeah. was just like a kooky pair of pants. Right. But that's when I knew like that, uh, that, 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 that girl was the heart of, mm -hmm. of Slacks because if Slacks was just about pants, like no one would really have cared. I mean, then it would be kind of like rubber, I guess, sort of like fun, yeah. but it's not, you know, <laughs> yeah. it would not have the same kind of gravity. <laughs> yeah. That's a really cool evolution, actually. I, I'm really, I love that it started out as this like just super weird, silly thing and then went through all of this and like really matured into being like this ultimate yeah. end thing you know I mean from the moment we thought of it to now so I guess it was 20 20 years yeah 20 years <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Say 2020 and so no 20 no, years no no yeah yeah we came up with the idea uh, in uh, 2001 before Whoa, I remember okay. it, was, it was like in the summer it was really hot we were going to New Orleans in like July for some odd reason so <laughs> because because you're gluttons for punishment i mean i love new orleans but in july oh i can't imagine <laughs> there was a circumstance or uh how do you say like there was a, a reason for it i forget why i think patricia was on holiday or something but um, oh okay but yeah 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 so so yeah 20 years so <laughs> hang wow. on if you're out there if you're out there it can take 20 years to make a movie but this makes really me feel cool. better about a lot of concepts that i have actually you know what i mean i'm like you know what maybe that who knows <laughs> yeah well I, f I think for us we really realized that slacks like every time we told people the story or the concept they're like oh my god that's amazing so we knew there was something mm -hmm. in it that people responded really well to um and so that's i think what kept us going was that everyone just loved that, that concept so much and we didn't really have to pitch it usually you have to you know you're at a party and you have to so what are you doing oh I'm on a philosophically challenging blah 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 and people will be like uh, uh -huh. and then you're like i'm working on a movie about killer pants and they're like what oh, amazing. So, you can just see like the, the antenna go up like bing i guess i'm intrigued by this <laughs> yeah 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 yeah, yeah. That's cool. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about the effects and like challenging the challenges of bringing slacks to life? Sure. Um, yeah, we knew that the whole team, we knew that we wanted it to be practical. Like, you know, we grew up watching awesome cheesy 80s and 90s films. Yeah. And uh, to me, practical effects, even if they're old, they, I think, I don't know, I just believe in them more even then then cg because cg really quickly evolves and so it doesn't take long for uh, a, an effect that looked really cutting edge to look sort of dated mm -hmm. i just watched poltergeist recently and aside from this one scene where it's like or it doesn't really it's you can tell it's dated all the practical effects are still super strong so and i also think the eye knows more knows when it's seeing something that's really there mm -hmm. I, I really strongly believe in that so that was why we really wanted to be practical um and then yeah we just you know found a great effects team we found a, 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 a company in montreal that actually makes ethical jeans uh with organic cotton and stuff oh, and okay. makes them in montreal like you saw their factory <laughs> And so we had to pick, we just picked the most menacing pair and then the special <laughs> effects team went to town and they did tons of tests and they would uh, send me videos or I would go to their shop and look at reference, like I sent them references and they would send me tests and I would comment and they would adjust and so it was a lot of back and forth. Um, and then they would suggest things that I, I, was, I hadn't expected, which were great and they brought in a, a puppeteer, a great um, female puppeteer because I really wanted slacks to be played by by a woman um and and yeah I mean it was pretty uh nerve-wracking because until the green screen people were you know erased it was hard to imagine that this would really work mm -hmm. um but so so it was 
and we were down to the wire testing things until the last minute and even on the set you know they'd be testing things out because uh, when you're working on the low budget you don't have months and months and months to to prep um and they used a lot of jeans <laughs> um and they had you know almost every i would say almost every position of the pants not position but um shot almost every movement had a different rig so if you saw the pants from the front or the back that was a different rig if you saw the pants okay. in like a super close-up with the eyes blinking that was one rig and if you saw them like bend over that was one rig um if you saw them crawl that was one rig and there's flies on my computer um so <laughs> i thought it was like a cat maybe <laughs> i know someone else said that no no it's flies uh <laughs> So, so that was, you know, and one, sometimes it's not like an actor where you can be like, okay, so now we're going to jump in and do a close up. Um, and then they, the special effects team would be like, oh, that's a different rig. We have to like go to the truck and get it and like put it on. And I was like, oh, oh wow. So there were all sorts of these challenges like that. Um, and that's and yeah, stuff you wouldn't think of. You wouldn't know that. I mean, unless you're a puppeteer, you know what I mean? I would be like, I would think the same no. thing, like, okay, let's grab a close up. And they'd be like, oh, that's a, it's a process. You don't just grab a close up. I would be like, I did yeah. not know that. Or like the reverse. Oh, let's just get it from the back. No, that's a right. whole different rig. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> ah! um, and then we couldn't have, you know, a pant army. We could only afford a certain number of people. So they had to, we had to, to create an army with only four puppeteers. <laughs> Something at first I was like, you know, dozens and dozens of jeans. And there was supposed to be a Bollywood number with all the jeans dancing. Um. And it would have been great, but no, we couldn't afford it. We just yeah. had one Bollywood number with one pair of pants. <laughs> I mean, at least it wasn't cut completely. You know what I mean? Like that was a cool no. part where it's like, oh, Bollywood jeans. Okay. <laughs> everyone, no, everyone was like, we have to have that one Bollywood yes. number. We absolutely have to have it. So we knew there were certain things we knew, you know, we really had to keep. Um, and so we kept, and we put the money in the sequences that we knew were important uh, mm -hmm. to put money in, but it was definitely like, sometimes we, we, we had to just grab, we knew there was like a sequence where slacks hadn't appeared in a long time. We're like shit in the editing. We're like, oh my God, we need to reshoot. We need a moment of slack. So we went back in for a day of reshoots and we would shoot like super tight close-ups of slacks doing something because we couldn't shoot a big, a big sequence. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I think that worked to create a sort of weird tension. Um, yeah, it definitely even if you did. Saw a tiny close up of it, it suggests that it's still there lurking. Right. You, well, that was actually, it, it lends itself to it because then you're like, oh, like there it is. Like by that point, you you know what it's capable of and what it's what it's after, right? So it is like, you, you're like, go a little bit without seeing it and then you see it again. But just like, even just like the flash of it, that denim, you're like, oh shit, like, oh, it's coming. <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> Well, that's, we, we, we didn't realize that until the edit, like that we, uh, there were times where the, in the first cut that the creature or that slacks would vanish for a long time. And, and we were all like, oh, it's not as scary anymore. What's going on? And then we knew, okay, it just needs to like pop into a box or turn a corner. Yeah. Or, and that immediately sort of recreated that, that tension. And we knew it's a monster movie slash a, a slasher. So mm -hmm. you need to see the monster. I right. You, know, you got to know that it's regularly. lurking there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she, she's still there. Watch out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> also kudos to the puppeteers because like, I, I wasn't expecting like it has expressions like slacks as jeans it has the eyes and then like they'll curl up in a certain way where it's like a menacing yeah. eyebrow or something. And I'm like that. I thought that was really cool. Cause I like, if you were to tell me like, okay, personify this pair of jeans, like make it have, yeah, make it emote. I would be like, I, yeah. like, well, I don't know what. <laughs> like, <laughs> so yeah. that, I thought that no. element of it was really cool. It, it is a character. Well, we definitely needed it. Okay, there's a fly box. We definitely um, <laughs> wanted ha to have like a certain moments because if you look at like, maybe I'm apparently if you're, you have like schizotypal tendencies, which some artists do, you easily see faces in inanimate objects. Okay. <laughs> so I easily see faces in inanimate objects. And so it's, it wasn't hard for me to see a face in a pair of pants. And I was like, no, mm -hmm. you see, you see the face, you see the, the mouth, you see the eyes and people are like, oh, right. Yeah. Okay. I guess. <laughs> so I knew I really wanted that to, for people to have this sort of 
schizotypal yeah. experience where all of a okay. sudden <laughs> they see a face in a pair of pants um, without us really having to create a goofy face. To me, it was always really clear how you could do that. <laughs> and I knew that, you know, since, since um, I wanted people to identify with, with slacks or Kirat by the end, that if we humanized it at, a, at certain moments, mm -hmm. then you would feel for her. For her. Yeah. Well, especially because early on, I was like, okay, exactly. Like, how are they possessed? And I was like, is it like, like a weird technology thing? Like, you know, because it's like, it's experimental field. There's some sort of weird technology element that's making them come to life. Is it like a demonic possession? I don't know. So there's like all these different options. And then as it becomes like, it has a face and things and you're like, okay, that's not, it's not like technologically brought to life. <laughs> it's something, it's like a living entity, like yeah somehow <laughs> the idea is that is that because at the beginning when when uh, kirat is, is picking cotton and then we sort of pan to that sign it says experimental mm -hmm. cotton field so the idea is that maybe there's some gmos gmo cotton in there and then and then coupled with that weird heat activated technology mm -hmm. and her spirit, it all right. sort of melded together to create <laughs> this this entity so yeah. that was the sort of vague science explanation between behind it slides. works though i mean for something like this it's like eh, i'll buy it you know what i mean it, it works enough to be like yeah okay I'll, i can go with this <laughs> well yeah i mean it is a, it is about pants it's not like we're really <laughs> trying to to be scientifically accurate although patricia <laughs> does have a science background so we always like to say she's oh, like perfect. the scientist behind her <laughs> 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 that's for it was just enough because it's like movies that have like no explanation whatsoever like that always I'm like oh that's like lazy writing like give me just give me yeah. something you know a little something yeah. so this was enough to be like yeah okay like if if pants could become possessed and and come to life and kill people this makes sense as to how it would happen like I'll, I'm good with that <laughs> so I appreciate that it wasn't just like it just I don't know it just happened I don't know it just it just is <laughs> no, no, it's it's more fun if it's anchored a little bit in reality. Yeah, then, definitely. I don't know. It's like the practical effects. If it's if there's something in the real world where it could happen, it's scarier because then than something that has absolutely no explanation. Yes. If you have one tangible bit that you can kind of like link onto, then I think the rest yeah. of your brain is like, yeah, cool, let's go with it. We're on board. And you're not like overthinking about like, what, what does, mm, what? <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> uh, was it hard to think of multiple ways that pants could kill people off? <laughs> oh, no. okay, that was the funnest part. <laughs> yeah. You're like, we had no, to rate no, it back I actually. Mean, <laughs> we did we, we had a few more kills that we could do because because of budgetary reasons um but no like this the smushing in half that was always <laughs> the first one we came up with oops <laughs> maybe i'm revealing but whatever i think it's not revealing too much um no i mean patricia and i have a really grotesque imagination so it wasn't really hard at all um I remember being at, at my house with like we had a few kills that we still had to to iron out just for for budgetary reasons like we had really um, elaborate ones and we're like oh my god we can't do this so we had to rethink a few of them at the last minute and uh, we had a friend of mine at my house and and she was like the model and then we had the pants and Patricia and I were like, oh like trying god. to figure out the best ways to, to kill her and that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Hey, do you want to come over and help us out for, with something? Yeah, sure. What do you guys need? Um, we just need you to stand there. We're going to think of multiple ways to kill you with this as the murder weapon. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, and uh, and I think actually she's the one who came up with my friend who's very, very strange uh, and wonderful. <laughs> um, she, I think she's the one who came up with the, the, the mouth. Because at first for me, the mouth was going to be the zipper that opens. Uh -huh. But she's the one who like bend it over and created the mouth with the waist nice okay yeah see if i was looking right. at it to try and think of a way to create a face i probably would have started looking at it from the front and been like okay what can i do with the zipper looking at it from the back probably with the pockets as eyes but then trying to figure out where to put the mouth but then like yeah. flipping it like that works so well especially because it like slinks along and has to crawl like a snake so it's like well yeah that makes sense and it's like facing you and it's coming after you <laughs> 
Yeah, there's all sorts of people collaborated to Slacks in, in strange ways. I mean, that's why film is so wonderful because you'll take an idea from this person. Another friend of mine was like, what if the mannequin, what if Slacks puts a mannequin on its body? And I was like, yes, that's, that wasn't my idea. It was my friend. So it, it's, it all comes together. And um, I, that's why I say I'm more like the, the receptacle for these ideas. I mean, I think that's a director is, is partly already has a vision, obviously, but partly is the, the sort of filter and you know when, when an idea is good and to keep it, and then you know when an idea is rubbish and to throw it away. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's why I love filmmaking because it's, you get to have, collaborate with crazy people. Mm -hmm. That's the fun part of it. And I mean, honestly, that's, that's the fun part of like, even like a silly road trip game with your friends. You know what I mean? Like you say something weird and then your friend is like, oh yeah. And then this, and then it just builds on it and builds on it. So it's like filmmaking yeah. is like the extreme version of that game like where you're just yeah. like and then my weird friend said this and then my other weird friend said this and then we added this and it just keeps getting weirder and better and more Even fun weirder. by the end yeah <laughs> yeah 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 my, like my other friend Jenga. is now not it's true she's not at all in film anymore she used to be um so it's funny that she was the inspiration for us. she's one of my actually oldest friends so it's it sort of all comes together <laughs> yeah and we've come full circle <laughs> love it yeah. <laughs> well do you have anything else that you would like to share with us um yeah I usually do the like social commentary part <laughs> of, <laughs> of the interview where um I think slacks should be for sure watched as like a fun and insane horror movie about killer pants um but I I do I would like people to think that when they to think about how they they consume and um, when they when they leave the movie and to think about why uh, why why in our Western society we're really uh, accustomed to to buying and to uh, to consuming in ways that maybe aren't good for ourselves or the planet or for other people. Um, and yeah, just to try to rethink your consumptions and whether you really need something or if it's just like an urge, like a a. a an advertising urge planted in your mind, sort of <laughs> trying to convince you to buy things you don't need and, um, and to think whether you can recycle or reuse or repair, or if you can just do without or use a uh, second hand, you know, um, I do think we're at a, in a time in our, in human, in our human evolution where we really need to cut back on our on unnecessary consumption. Um, mm -hmm and unnecessary production and exploitation of, of the finite earth resources. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, it's like a bit of a serious sober note, but that's sort of the point of Slacks is that um, these corporations are really, their, their only goal is to make money for themselves and they don't care who they harm in the process, including, including their consumers by, mm -hmm. you know, putting them into debt or whatnot. And um, and so, yeah, that's, I would urge people to, to think before you buy next time. <laughs> this definitely plants that seed in a big way, honestly. Like I came for the killer pants, but then there's a shift that happens obviously. And you're like, oh shit. And by the end, you're like really thinking about things, you know? And I think that's such a cool thing that you can do with film. It's like, okay, yeah, yeah we had, we had fun and stuff. And you're not being hit over the head with it by any means, but it's like, it's a lot of fun. It's like all this crazy, zany, kooky stuff, but, but you, at the end, you, you have, there, there's a dark kind of feeling at mm. the end where you're just like, oh God. And it, it does make you think. And I, I saw it a few days ago and I'm still thinking about it, you know? Oh, good. Yay. So it, it resonates. <laughs> oh, it great. strikes chords for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, Slacks is now streaming on Shutter. Also, I'm really glad that it's available on Shutter. I know it was doing the festival circuit, so I got really excited mm -hmm. when I saw that uh, Shutter picked it up. So everyone, go watch Slacks on Shutter. Come for the killer pants. Stay for all the other extra good stuff. <laughs> okay. Great. Thanks for having me. All right, Elza. Thank you so much. Oh, tell us where we can find you. Uh, yes, I'm in the world. No, I'm just kidding. I don't, I'm, uh, I'm on Facebook uh, and I have a website that people can send me messages uh, from. I'm not on uh, I'm not on other platforms, I think. Okay. I, no, I, I can. My brain can only handle the, the old the old school Facebook. Um, okay. But I'm there. 
Okay. They're going to say a fax. We can send you a fax or <laughs> Facebook. Oh, shit. Works. No. <laughs> I actually still have a fax, although there isn't a number attributed to my fax anymore. <laughs> It's for decoration and outgoing only. Exactly. <laughs> As it was intended. <laughs> All right. It was really awesome to get to chat with you. Thank you for yeah. coming to hang out. Um, Slack, I'm a big fan of it. So thank you for making it 20 years later, yeah. 20 years in the making. And I appreciate that you <laughs> follow through with it and stuck with it because I think it's important. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much. All right. Bye. Thanks. Once again, thank you so much to Elza for stopping by to hang out with us. Check out Slacks now streaming on Shutter. And this has nothing to do with anything aside from the fact that I'm super excited about it. So I would feel remiss to not mention because the energy is just boiling up and bursting out of me right now. It's opening day. Let's go Dodgers, baby. Woo! And I'll catch you next week for some more spooky shit. <laughs>